Good morning and congratulations, CSA School, Class 21. Syracuse, New Jersey, 
uh, from Texas and from Atlanta who came down today to be a part of the ceremony. And it's really great that the families are able to come here, be with you, honor your service, and honor this incredible achievement. Um, I had a, uh, an old admiral named Admiral Juanini, and he said whenever you talk to a group, you should always just talk about two things, because nobody wants to hear anything more than that. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to talk about two things today. I don't think I need this anymore. Uh, but the two things I'm going to talk about today are your fresh start you're going to get in the Navy when you get your first command, and how you should measure yourself and others when you get there. Okay, so that's two things I'm going to talk about. So the first thing is you're going to get to your new command. Who is going across? Who's going overseas for the first tour? Anyone? How about uh, over the West Coast, San Diego, Seattle? Okay, awesome. So you guys got some traveling heading in. How many folks are heading to uh, Mayport, Jacksonville area? A couple of you getting down to Florida. Everyone else going to Norfolk? All right, awesome. So you'll, you'll be there a couple hours. Let's take that one again. Um, but when you get to your unit, that is your chance to make a first impression. And you need to make a good first impression, okay? And you have all the tools in your toolkit in order to do that. You need to be squared away when you showed up, and you need to keep your head down. And the best way you can make a first impression is, how many people in here have heard us talk in the Navy about leadership? You guys have heard us talk about leadership, right? Everybody's gotta be a leader. In order to be a leader, you have to be a follower first. And you have to do what I would call followership. You have to be the kind of person that other people want to lead. Okay? So when you get to your first command, you know, you need to um, check in, you need to be squared away, you need to stay, keep your own personal motivation, and keep your own personal standards. All right? Find a friend group of people that are squared away. All right? There's going to be some people that are going to want to take you out, they're going to want to get into mischief, they're going to want to, you know, goof around, they're going to want to get in trouble and all that other kind of stuff. And then at the end of the day, you got to come see a big guy like me. And that's not what you want to do. Okay? So you need to find a good group of friends, and then you need to get out there and you need to explore the area where you're going to go to, whether it's Norfolk, you know, don't hang out on the base, you need to get down to the city, you know, go to the Girl Chief Bistro, see some of the cool spots down there. If you're San Diego, you need to get out to the Gasland, you know, to Jacksonville, you need to go down, you know, Duval, and get out to Jack's Beach and see all that, okay? But make sure you get a good friend group and a good group of people that are there, and then find a mentor, all right? Find someone that you can look up to, Find someone that you can confide in, you can talk to, and kind of guide you through your journey. Because your journey's not going to be easy, right? If you guys wanted to do something easy, you would have joined the Air Force. Right? But you didn't. You joined the Navy. Yeah. And what we do is tough. You know, we go to installations or we go to ships and we go out to sea and we stay out there for a long time. And what you do as individuals is tough. Right? Because, you know, a lot of the ship isn't up at 4 a.m. when you guys are up doing bench prep. Right? A lot of the ship isn't around, and they don't realize, you know, dinner ends at 1830, but y'all there's a 2000, making sure that it's cleaned out of that scullery, right? Getting all those little nooks and crannies, get everything sanitized and sterilized and ready for the next morning, because in a couple more hours, we're going to be coming in and doing the next meal. A lot of folks don't realize how long it takes to do breakout. A lot of people don't realize how long it takes to do food inventory, right? Because there's all that that goes into what you're going to do is tough. So make a great first impression, okay? Find a mentor when you first get to your duties. That's going to be really important. So that, that's, and, and like I said, find a good group of folk. And you see people that are up to no good, that are, you know, talking about folks in ways that are disparaging. That's not who you want to hang out with. All right, surround yourself with good folks. The second thing I'll talk about briefly is when you get to your new duty station, how should you measure yourself and how should you measure others, right? How, how do we do this in the name? I'm going to tell you this. There's two ways we do it. If you don't take anything else away, I'm going to put stop this. I want you to take this away. Right? We judge people in the Navy by the content of their character and the quality of their work. And that's it. The content of your individual character and the quality of your work. I know I'm not going to, you guys are all probably like, it. gosh, I want to talk to this guy. But uh, content of character, everybody knows where that comes from? Who talked about being judged by the content of your character? Hear people in the back say, "Oh, parents are saying it." Do we know? All right, that comes from Dr. Martin Luther King. When he gives I have a dream speech, right? And when you look for aspirational goals, I believe you should look at aspirational people. And there's nobody more aspirational than Dr. King, the vision of peace and unity in, in our country, mm -hmm. right? Because that's a country we volunteer to serve. That's the kind of country we want. So you should judge folks by the content of their character. And what does it mean to have good character for each of you? How do you know you have good character? 
we all came from different places, right? I can say people from Texas, people here from New York, California probably, Florida, right? How do you know if you have good character? Because we all come from diverse places, we all got different ideas of what right looks like, but because we're in the Navy, we already have a lot of things in common, right? What are the big three things that the Navy tells us we should value? Honor, courage, and commitment. Honor, courage, and commitment, absolutely. So, you know, when you're like, hey, am I being a good person? Am I doing the right thing? Am I acting with good character? You should ask yourself, is what I'm about to do the honorable thing? Is this the right thing to do? And if the answer is no, don't do it. Right? And sometimes that's tough because you're going to feel peer, peer, peer pressure, right? You're going, no, 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 come on, it's okay. How oh, we all do this? It's okay. Hey, I, I, I got a pass, man. I'm going to go take care of this stuff. Walk away from it, okay? Courage. You know, we always think of courage like some guy charging up an old machine gun or something like that. You know what takes the most courage I've found in the United States Navy? Ask for help. If you're out there and you're having a tough time, you're all going out to these new commands and you won't know anyone, it's going to be, you know, just kind of you and um, it's going to be something different, it'll be exciting, it'll be new, but sometimes you know you'll feel the blues, you feel like you struggle a little bit. You've got to have the personal courage to ask for help. All right? Go to your chief. First place you should go. Go to your LPO and, and then talk to your chief. All right? That's what they're there for. They are that, that first line of defense and, and sometimes, you know, chiefs have a million different roles. Um, one of the most important roles they have, sometimes they're a traffic director. Okay, I need you to go over here to get a little bit of help, or I need you to go over here to get what you need. Um, but that's one of the most courageous things you can do in the Navy is ask for help. Suffering in silence doesn't take any courage. Okay? So if you need it, ask for it. And I will tell you, as an old guy, like I said, I've done this for 30 years, right? Um, you're hearing it from me. That's what we should be doing. So, right? so honor, courage, commitment. The last thing is your commitment. Are you honoring the commitments you make? You know, you've all heard the joke, what does Navy stand for? Never again volunteer yourself, but you volunteer. You all volunteer. You all took that oath, right? Support the Federal Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, bear proof, allegiance to the same, obey the orders of the officers appointed over you in accordance with regulation of the Federal Military Justice, right? That's what we said in MEPS. I know I said it kind of fast, but it's because I know it and I believe So you've got to honor those commitments that you make. you got to follow the rules, right? You're going to get out there and you're going to wind up in Norfolk and you're going to go get some food at the food line, right? A little grocery store out there. You're going to go to Safeway on the West Coast of the head and go down to Texas, right? And in the in the rack, they're going to have like CBD oil for sale. Can you guys use that stuff? It, it's legal there, but you can't because it's against our regulations, all right? And you guys need to always think about that. But I'm going to tell you what, if you guys are always thinking like, man, is what I'm about to do honorable, right? And sometimes the courage is, to, to do the right thing when other people are not doing the right thing. And on those commitments you made, you cannot help but have good character. The last thing I'll leave you with is that, I know a lot of people haze, a lot of people bully. I would just tell you one other thing. If you are ever laughing at the expense of another person, you're taking away just a little bit of their personal dignity. And that's something we don't ever want to do. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're making fun of someone or something happens, where somebody's like losing their personal dignity, you know, because they've done something foolish. You know, it might be funny for a second, but then you got to realize that hurts. Because you've all been on the other end of that, right? I know I have. That hurts when people make fun of you. And you didn't join the Navy to get hurt, right? You didn't join the Navy to get bullied. You didn't join the Navy for any of that, did you? All right, so be in tune with that. If you do those things, you will have great content of character. Which is one of the things Martin Luther King said, which we should be joking. And that's awesome. The other thing is quality of your work. All right? And some people think of quality work, man, I'm, I'm working really hard. I'm, I'm, I'm in there, man, I got, my, I got my meal card out, I know exactly how I got to mix this, how I got to prep this, and, and I'm working hard, I'm doing my job. And that's part of it, right? It's consuming those additional duties when you get to the fleet, it's making sure that your person is squared away and ready to do your job. But more than that, the quality of your work is your journey. It's your journey through the Navy. Because when you first get to where you're going, you're gonna need a lot of help, right? You're gonna need some folks to tell you what to do, because you don't know what to do. Right? You gotta learn your job. You gotta learn, you know, where the equipment is on your ship, how it gets maintained, who you talk to if something breaks, right? Like if the oven breaks or kettle breaks, who do you go talk to? How do you get that put in? How do you get that job put in? Where do you go on that ship or on that on that installation? Okay? Um, so it takes a little while to learn your job. But your journey and your quality of work is that you're gonna start out with someone who needs a lot of supervision and direction. And as and, and that's that followership, right? You're, you're following people, telling you where to go, you're like, okay, I'm gonna knock that out. You're going to make it happen. You're not going to be cynical, right? You're not going to 
be mad about stuff. You're going to get in there, you're going to get that job, and you're not going to have it. And eventually, folks are going to see that and be like, you know what? You know, culinary specialist right there is getting it done. Let's give them a little bit more responsibility. Let's give her a little bit more responsibility. And because of the quality of your work, you're going to start getting a little bit more um, responsibility, and you're going to become fully qualified, right? And some of us, it's going to take a little bit longer to get qualified. Sometimes we might be qualified right away. But we're all going to get that fully qualified sailor. And eventually, people are going to start putting more responsibility on you. And you make that journey, what you're going to find is that's going to result in EPs on your evals, and that's going to result in you getting promoted. So the quality of your work isn't just how well you do your job, it's how well are you able to assume those responsibilities, get qualified, and then get yourself in a position where you can impart what you've learned to the next group of folks that are coming to graduate from this course right here and have an apple sleep. Because when you show up on your ship, you're going to show up at sea back, you're not going to know where anything is. Right? You're not going to know the stern from the back. You won't. When you get to your first installation, you know, you're not going to know where anything is on board that place. Somebody's going to have to show you, right, and mentor you a little bit. And the quality of your work is, are you doing everything you need to do to work a year and a half, maybe two years in there? When that new person checks into the sea bag, they're looking at you. And you want to be the person that says, I got you. You want to be that person, like I talked about, when they first arrive, you're their mentor. You're the one showing them, you're the really one, hey, come on, let's get off the ship. I'm going to show you where some cool spots are in the you know? They're not going to necessarily take you to the bar, you can take you to the price, you can take you something cool like that. So the content of your character and the quality of your work. Those two things, that is it. That is all, as a Navy leader, that I care about. The content of your character and the quality of your work. Do you want to know why? Because that's something everyone is capable of doing. And it doesn't matter what you look like. Right? It doesn't matter what the color of your skin is. It doesn't matter whether you're male, whether you're female. Whether you're transgender, doesn't matter who you fall in love with, doesn't matter who you worship, none of that matters in terms of you being able to have good character and give good quality of work. And that's why we should never measure people by those things, right? We should never measure somebody by who they fall in love with. We should never judge a person based on the color of their skin. You know, we should never reward or penalize someone based on anything other than the content of their character. And the quality of their work. Does that make sense to everyone? That's the kind of Navy you want to be in? It's a Navy, it's a legacy I want to leave because I get ready to depart the Navy after 30 plus years. Okay? And that's important. Um, and that's the most important thing. Because that's how you ensure that everyone has the opportunity to excel, everyone has the opportunity to grow as a sailor, and everyone has the opportunity to realize those dreams. So I remember, was that long ago? You guys were all sitting in mess, right? And before that, man, you were making this tough decision, man, am I going to join the Navy? Am I going to do this? Because it's hard. And there's a lot of unknowns, right? But you've taken on that adventure. And what each one of you wants is the opportunity to realize the dreams that you have, right? You're like, no, man, I'm going to come in, I'm going to learn how to do this. I'm going to learn how to do this you know, culinary business. I'm going to learn how to run a kitchen. You know, I'm going to learn how to prep food for large groups. You know, maybe some of you guys have dreams beyond the Navy where you want to go to culinary school, own your own restaurant. Or maybe you get completely out of it and do something totally different. Whatever that is, you have to have the opportunity to do it. And the way we make sure that everybody has that same opportunity is by judging folks on the content of their character and the quality of their work. So that's it. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, again, congratulations to all of you. It wasn't easy, was it? No, uh, but I'll tell you what, man, you got a great toolkit now. You got all the tools you need to go out there and be successful in the fleet. Don't forget that. Don't get out there and lose your marbles. Don't get out of the fleet and hang out with folks that aren't doing the right things, because they're out there. Okay, trust me. Um, stay away from them. Be true to yourselves. Um, you know, think about all the hard work you did. Um, think about the content of your character and how you're going to get good quality of work. And whenever you're facing that fork in the road where you're just like, man, I just don't know. Think, think about you getting ready to join the Navy, signing that contract, going to mess, and think, man, would that mean? Is this, is this how I want this to turn out? Okay? Make great choices. Meet people with good character. Give good quality work. Okay? All right. I appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Congratulations. Thanks, sir. And Dave, welcome again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Attention to award. From United States Navy Naval Technical Training Center Detachment Fort Lee, this certifies that you are a culinary specialist graduate and you have met all requirements to graduate from CSA school, conferred at CSA school, NTTC Detachment Fort Lee, Virginia, this 28th day of April in the year of 2023. Signed, A.J. Johnson, CWO3, Officer in Charge. CSSR Ariano, VDG 99, Farragut, Mayport, Florida. CSSN Cloud, DDG 96, Bainbridge, Norfolk, Virginia. CSSA Constant, DDG 91, Pickney, San Diego, California. CSSA Encarnacion, VFA 137, Lemoore, California. CSSA Escamilla Rivera, LCS Crew 124, Mayport, Florida. CSSA Gibson. STU NAS Sub School, Groton, Connecticut. CSSR Gibbons, CG 53, Mobile Bay, San Diego, California. CSSA Grable, LSD 50, Carter Hall, Virginia Beach, Virginia. CSSR Hadet, LCS Crew 119, Mayport, Florida. CSSR Home, LHD 3, Carisarge, Norfolk, Virginia. CSSA Miles, LHD 8, Macon Island, San Diego, California. CSSR Ocampo, DDG 111, Sprunus, San Diego, California. CSSR Perez Almazo, DDG 120, Carl M. Levin, Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. CSSN Pingo, STU NAS Sub School, Rotten, Connecticut. CSSR Ratcliffe, LHD 8, Macon Island, San Diego, California. CSSR Rodriguez Olivas, LSD 52, Pearl Harbor, San Diego, California. CSSR Sopropenia, BFA 37, Virginia Beach, Virginia. CSS in Santa Ana, LHD 7, Iwo Jima, Norfolk, Virginia. CSSR Swift, 
DDG 93, Chung Hoon, Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. CSSR Torres Castellum, HS78, San Diego, California. CSSR Toison, STU, NAF Sub School, Groton, Connecticut. CSSR Watt, BFA 37, Virginia Beach, Virginia. CSSR Yang, CG 64, Gettysburg, Norfolk, Virginia. Student seats. During this five week course, our Navy students challenge themselves and their peers to grow both personally and professionally. We will now recognize the individual achievements of those students who excelled in both performance and academics. Captain Campagna will present the awards. The following awards are given to the class leader, assistant class leader, and Mestec Master at Arms. Duty section leader and religious leaders. The students receiving these awards have shown innovation and dedication to duty, reflecting great credit upon themselves. CSSN Sata Ana. CSSN Sopra Pena. CSSN Gibson. CSSR Home. CSSA Miles. CSSR Radcliffe. Attention to award from Officer in Charge, Naval Technical Training Center, Detachment Fort Lee. Subject, Letter of Appreciation. I want to personally thank you for volunteering to be a student leader and duty section leader and religious leader for CSA School, Class 21. Your acceptance of this position displays true leadership, professionalism, and motivation. Your performance was exemplary. You have set an exceptionally high standard of excellence for future class leaders to emulate. Your actions have reflected credit upon this command in yourself. Congratulations on a job well done. Signed, A.J. Johnson, Chief Warrant Officer 3, Supply Corps, United States Navy. Being a leader came natural for these sailors. They have been my backbone from the beginning and held the highest standards for this class. I know when you all go to your ship, there's no doubt you'll be leading from the front. Thank you for all that you have done. Leadership, right? Face, follow.
following award is the Superior Culinary Award. CSSA Constant, CSSR Ocampo, CSS and Pango, front and center. These three sailors I have here before you showed nothing but greatness. They went above and beyond to carry out the gallic production in every way possible. Constant with his too crispy bacon, never giving up. Ocampo calling his mom at six o'clock in the morning to make sure his product came out perfectly. And Topango taking on more responsibilities than what was assigned. Accelerating in a fleet will be too easy for you three. Thank you for everything. Students. Right, face, fall out. I would now like to present the Heart Charger Award. CSSR Radcliffe, front and center. This sailor right here has had some obstacles throughout his five-week course, both professionally and personally. He's been pushing forward and never taking no for an answer when something needed to be done. I've watched how you progress, and I'm so proud of you. Continue to do great things, and remember, who will be looking up to you very soon. Thank you, Texas. Right, face, fall out. Next, I would like to present our Honor Graduate Award. This, this award is presented to the student who has achieved the highest grade point average. CSSA Escamilla Rivera, front and center. Student, right face, fall out. There we go. Okay. Next, I would like to present our accelerated petty officers. CSSA Encarnacion. CSS in Santa Ana, front and center. This award is given to those whose performance was exemplary both professionally and personally during this five week course. They will assume the rank of Petty Officer Third Class within four to ten months upon arrival of your new command.
Students, right, thanks. Fall out. Let's give another one. Yeah. We will now have closing remarks by our officer in charge, CWO3 Johnson. Morning, morning, motivators. Morning, morning. 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 We're graduating today, you see. Morning, morning, motivators. Good morning, sir. Talk about seats, seats, please. How's everyone doing this morning? Good, Good sir. Good. I, see, I see you smiling. I see you ready to go. I understand that. Okay. That morale. Keep that, right? Follow this moment up, right? Right now, is this is one of the biggest accomplishments that you're ever going to have on your, your career. So, uh, this moment that you feel right now, follow it up. Because uh, you're going to have some, some good days out there. You're going to have some great days out there in the team. But you're also going to have some trying times, some hurdles, and some obstacles that you're going to have to overcome, right? But I want you to always remember, like, what is your why? What is your why? What motivates you? What motivates you to show up for work on time, have a squared away uniform, and do what your leadership tells you to do? What motivates you to be great? And I want you to remember that, right? Remember that. I always figure out what is my why? Why am I doing this? Remember. Some of it may be your family members, some of it may be your kids, your future, you know, just want to travel the world, want to serve your country. So I'm going to ask you this. How many people in here had a bad day before? A bad day, right? Everyone in here has had a bad day before. Now, like with that bad day, right, have you ever had some days where, man, you, you thought that it is no way I am able to get past this day. I can't even see myself making it to tomorrow, right? Like this day was just so hard for me, right? Everybody had probably had some, some days like that, right? So I'm asking this question. So what is your percentage for beating bad days? Most of you guys may say, hey, sir, it's a, you know, 50%, 60, 70, even 80, right? But I'm here to say that your percentage for beating bad days is 100%. 100%. Every bad day you have had in your entire life, guess what? You got over it. You got past it. It brought you to this point right here in your life. In your career. So when you have those bad days, guess what? sun will come out. The bad days will pass and there are going to be brighter days. So don't think this is the end of the world. Right? Don't think that you know this bad time is going to last forever because it doesn't. It don't. You are capable of doing anything that you want to do in your career. career. When I'm looking at you guys, I'm like, wow. You are the future of the fleet. You are the future of the fleet. I see my next CS2, see my next CS1, I see my next instructors, see my next chief, see my, I see my release, my warrant officer, I see captain's release, a relief. You are the future of the fleet. You have all the tools you need to be successful in your military career. You have all the tools. Anything that you want to know, guess what? You can Google search it, you'll be there at rapid pace. Rapid uh, pace. It'll be there so fast, right? But guess what? When you go out to the fleet, I want you to get understanding with the knowledge that you can get at a fast rate. Get understanding with it. Get meaning behind it. Really know what you're reading. Being able to, you know, attain that knowledge to basically apply it to your day-to-day -day, uh, work. All right. So right now, I'm looking at you guys. I'm like, all right. So. Um, when I say you are the morale of the ship, you are the morale of the ship. Most people are like, mm, yeah, all right, you know, CS is, come on now, you can come into work and do this, but you affect everyone on the ship. Everyone on the ship. You can either make them have a, a good day, or if they having a bad day, you can make them have a good day. Right, I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to show you an example. So, when you guys leave here, what is the meal that you guys want to eat? Once you leave here, what is it? One thing, once you get home, what is it something that you want to eat or who's going to cook it? What, what are you waiting for? Somebody give me an example. Your mom's what? My mom's cooking meatballs. 
Your mom's cooking meatballs. Somebody else. Granddaddy ribs. Your granddaddy ribs. Chicken adobo. Chicken adobo. Okay, okay. Somebody else. Come on now, get to it. Your mama nachos. Come on. Come on now. Tell me. What you got? Whole seafood boy. Whole seafood boy, right? So now I want y'all to look at everybody's faces. And you see that smile on your on your face? You see that smile? Yes. Just from us talking about food makes us happy. Makes us happy. Just from us just thinking about a great meal makes us happy. Imagine you guys control the food that's produced on the ship. You control that. You control that. So it doesn't matter if. Uh, um, CS2 was yelling at me earlier and I have to do all this cleaning or someone else is on the ship. As soon as they sit down and taste your product, they're like, man, this food is good. Like, you just boosted their morale. And guess what? They come to eat uh, with you at least three times a day. Three times a day. You are the, the ace in the hole that the captain have to boost morale on the ship. It doesn't matter if they're going through an inspection or we have to stay there longer or we going out to sea for uh, deployment and you got extended. Guess what? As long as the food is good, quality of life and sugar is going to be good. Because you guys control it. Remember, you are the heartbeat of the sugar. You are. The sky, the sky uh, is new for you guys, right? Glass is already broken. Guys to shout so, um, I'd like to say this last thing, right? So, I always, you know, try to uh, impart uh, knowledge on you guys. So, this is the last story that I tell you. If I tell you I can kill an alligator with my bare hands, what would you say? Most of you guys look at me like, sir, uh, man, I believe every word that came out of your mouth until this point. Right? You know what I'm saying? You were speaking knowledge until this point. But guess what? I will wait until an alligator eats a huge meal. A huge meal. Right? Because once an alligator eats a huge, a huge meal, it becomes paralyzed. It becomes in a paralyzed state. So I will, you know, make sure. I plan it, make eat. You know what I'm saying? The most meal, the uh, biggest meal is ever ate. Make sure it gets in a paralyzed state. And I believe I can overcome the alligator, all right? Sure, with some tools, you know what I'm saying? I'm a very good job. Uh, I do that, all right? Cool. Now, I'm looking at you. You guys just ate a big meal. You just accomplished a great task in your military career. I don't want you guys to become paralyzed. I don't want you to become stagnant. I want you to change your mindset Change your mindset so you continue to grow. Continue to strive for excellence. Like, what's next? Yes, you accomplish this, look to see what's your next goal that you can knock off your list. And continue to have goals. Continue to strive for your goals. You guys are going to be great. And I will see you in the future. All right? So I want you guys to give it to me one last time. When I say it's too easy, you guys say it's too easy. When I say we got this, you say we got this. When I say all in, you give me all the time. All right, here we go. It's too easy. It's too easy.